Moroccans are heading to vote. And in the last few hours before the vote, some parties were still trying to get people to turn out. But people are still divided over whether they'll even bother voting. I am not going to vote. The parties don't have the power to change things. I'm voting because the youth of Morocco wants change. With official polling banned in the weeks before the vote, it's difficult to say who will win. But most expect two parties, the PJD and the PAM, to do well. The PJD, a party rooted in Islam that came out on top in the 2011 election, has reduced the budget deficit, but its economic reforms have faced opposition on the streets. The PAM is seen as close to the monarchy and is headed by a royal advisor. Whoever comes out on top won't be able to form a majority government, as Morocco's electoral system effectively prevents it. Only 50% of those eligible are expected to vote in the parliamentary elections, and there are a lot of parties to choose from. But the reality is, Morocco is a monarchy. The king's in charge of the judiciary, he's in charge of the security services, and he has the final say in all government policy. So the question is, is there actually a point in voting? For some, the answer is no. Adl wal Ihsan is a popular religious movement whose activities are restricted. It's calling on its supporters not to participate in the elections. We see politics in Morocco as incomplete. There is no real democracy. There is the king, who in effect has complete power, and the government doesn't have any real power at all. Also boycotting are some left-wing groups, and some associated with February the 20th, an Arab Spring-inspired movement that took to the streets in 2011. But the major parties insist that participation in the electoral system is important. The popular Abdel Ilah Ben Kiran is Morocco's Prime Minister and a member of the PJD. He says that stability is key to Morocco's advancement. Our conviction is clear. Yes, yes, we want to carry on the path towards real democratization, but it has to happen gradually. With the vote fast approaching, some parties were still trying to get people to turn out. They say they can bring positive change to Morocco. The turnout will show how many they've convinced. Abu Bakr al-Shamahi, TRT World, Rabat.